Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about light cone. The first question which comes in our mind is, what is light cone? So light cone which is also known as null cone can simply be defined as a space-time diagrammatic representation of the propagation of light. I know you are a bit confused, so let me clear it to you all. Let us consider the horizontal axis as the space axis and the vertical axis as the time axis, right? So the space we are getting here, from here to here, the space we are getting it here, if we capture the motion of the light or we can say the propagation of light and plot it in the form of graph, then we will get something like this diagram. Let us consider this axis as the space axis right and the vertical axis is the time axis now as i have said to you all if we capture the motion of light or propagation of light we will get something like this diagram always right irrespective of the frame you consider we will always get something like this and this is called the diagram of light cone why it is called light cone because we are getting in the form of cone due to the motion of the light that's why it is called the light cone right so let me make it more simple to you all suppose we are considering an event here e and the event is what from a source of light we are actually emitting the light and light as you know travels in all direction yes light travels in all direction okay now if we consider it in two ways that is in upward way and downward way right now if we consider it in two way we will get something like this we will get something like this now this upward movement of light is called the forward light cone and the backward movement of light is called the backward light cone right so this is called the forward light cone this is called the forward light cone and this is called the backward light cone okay now if we consider three events let at origin o where the event mainly E occurs, right, event E occurs and event P mainly in the forward light cone and the event Q in the backward light cone, right. Now let us see, any event which occurs at P will be sometime later than the event at E, relative to E. That means the event E, if we consider it as a present moment, then event P will be sometime in the future right so event p is always called at the absolute future event p is called event actually p we are considering so event p will be always at something like absolute future now why we have used the term absolute because from any frame you consider it i am considering it from this frame you may consider it from that frame right the results will be exactly similar we will always agree you and i will always agree that the event p will be sometimes later than an event e that is it is at absolute future and e is at absolute present and the e event will be at absolute present that means at the present moment right and you and i will also agree that event at q will be always at past that is event q has first occurred then event e will occur then event p will occur that means in the serial way right so event q will be called the absolute past will be called the absolute past so any event outside this light cone any event outside this light cone right from this space that will be totally inaccessible to any event at this two light cones right so i hope you have understand the concept and the light cone definition what you can write we can write the light cone definition as the propagation of light in minkowski space is called as the light cone so i hope you have understood the today's lecture for any doubt you can reach me out in the comment section till then thank you